Hi, my name's Alex Walford. I'm a solutions engineer for Streamsets. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can deploy data collector pipelines on Kubernetes with Control Hub. This diagram is from the help, and I think it's a good place to start because it shows how this works conceptually. So the first thing we're going to need is a provisioning agent, which is going to run on the Kubernetes cluster. And this is going to talk to Control Hub. The, the provisioning agent is going to deploy, start, and scale up and scale down da data collectors on the Kubernetes cluster. The first thing we're going to do is deploy the provisioning agent. I have a Kubernetes Minikube cluster running, and you can see that we have three namespaces right now. I'm going to SSH into the Minikube cluster and deploy the agent. The control agent is available in this GitHub repo. So the first thing we're going to do is clone this repo. So git clone. And if we look inside this repo, you can see that there's a Minikube specific folder. Inside this folder, we'll see that there's a startup uh, shell command. And I'm going to modify this very slightly and give the absolute path to the login command here. There's a one-liner command which is going to register this agent with Control Hub. And so it has uh, certain arguments that we're going to pass in here, the organization, the user, the password, and the namespace in Kubernetes, and the URL for the Control Hub. Now the agent has successfully registered with Control Hub. If we pop over to the Kubernetes, we can see that we now have four namespaces. There's a Streamsets namespace. And in Control Hub, if I go to Administration and then Provisioning Agents, we can see that this provisioning agent is there. Once that's happened, we can create a deployment. So let's give it a name, a description, choose Mini, mini Cube Control Agent. Let's say we'll have six instances. Uh, data collector labels. I'm going to call this Minikube. And I've created a custom Docker image. And the reason I did this is um, that out of the box, the image is very minimal. The, and um, in order to connect to things like databases, we need to add these to the Docker image. And this is done deliberately so that you have a nice lightweight image. It's not too bloated. I will show you in another video how to create your own custom data collector Docker image. But for now, let's use this one I've created earlier. So I've put the uh, image name right here. I'm going to click Save. And I'm going to activate my deployment. So if we pop over to Kubernetes now and look at pods, we can see that they're spinning up. We, we asked for six, and we have four of them. Let's refresh the screen. Yeah, OK. So we now have uh, six data collectors running in, in uh, Kubernetes. Now that our deployment is running, we can create a job. So I'm going to pop over to the pipeline repository. And I created a job. And what this is doing, this is reading data from my Intel Edison. It's a little c computer with a sensor on it. And um, I have a Jython uh, processor here. And this is basically just grabbing the host name of the data collector and appending it to the record. And I did this so that we could see that this is being processed by multiple data collectors. And th this data is being written to Kafka. So we'll, we'll grab this out of Kafka in a moment. Um, I'm going to click on this Create Job button here. Um, and I'm, for data collector labels, we're going to say Minikube. Instances, we're going to say minus one. Run on all the instances. Enable time series and create. So we now have this job. We can start the job. And if we click on this, we should see it spin up on multiple data collectors. So we have six data collectors here. And they're spinning up. Great. 
and in a moment we should see the data start to flow through. If I click on the summary tab and refresh, now we can see the records start to come through in the Sankey chart here. Let's pop over to Kafka Tool and have a look at some of these records and just confirm that they're coming from more than one host or multiple hosts. So um, right here we have the uh, data collector host name and you can see if you look carefully, it's a bit of an eye chart, you can see that these are different. This one uh, starts with uh, JNWQ8 and now we have 9TJ52. So just to recap, we showed you how to deploy a provisioning agent on a Kubernetes cluster, how to create a deployment and how to send jobs to those data collectors based on the label of that deployment. If you need help, we have a bunch of community resources. We've got ask.streamsets.com. It's a Stack Overflow style wiki. We've got a Slack channel, a Google group, and a ton of great documentation online. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching.